My favorite tabisms come from the years that I uh, uh, came to church here as a just as a visitor, and then I was fortunate enough to serve on the elder board uh, with Donald for uh, a dozen years or so, and that was a real blessing. But there are three really that stick out to me that I've used a lot. Uh, one was as it relates to finances. You know, he had advice about everything, and I'm sure a lot of people talking about scriptural advice, but, uh, you know, he always said if your uh, outgo exceeds your income, then your upkeep will be your downfall. And um, and I've, I've really shared that with a lot of the young people. And, of course, when it comes to losing weight, I've always kind of reversed that, too, if you're, that your outgo has to exceed your upkeep or your income will be your outgo. So, uh, but uh, I always appreciated that. Uh, another one was uh, uh, reap a thought and uh, sow an act, sow an act and reap a habit and uh, reap a habit and sow a lifestyle and sow a lifestyle. You reap a destiny and reap a destiny. You reap an, uh, sow a destiny and you reap an eternity. And those have always been uh, just great uh, things for me to remember. Of course, I could go on and on, but uh, you know, I always appreciated Donald and his uh, ability to just love his family, particularly the fact that he had to love five women equally. That was always just amazing to me, and he did such a great job at that. But uh, there was one time when uh, my first elder retreat, uh, I don't remember the year, but we all got together and uh, with the deacons and the trustees, and we were all uh, had a retreat together. It was just a great time. We had a great time. And I remember one First time deacon, uh, we were sitting around uh, after having a meal, all of us around a campfire or something, and uh, the, the young deacon said, you know, uh, Donald, this would really be great, and uh, we need to get our women folk out here. We need to get our ladies all out there. And Donald said, well, i got one piece of advice for you. If you ever have that thought again, I want you to sit down and you put both feet in front of you and you take some deep breaths and you pause and you let it pass. Because he just really knew that men getting together uh, is what, you know, iron sharpened iron. And uh, we needed that. And he was always there for all of us men. And uh, and I benefited from that from just decades of knowing such a fine man. He's helped me be a, uh, a, a better father, a better husband. Uh, and certainly uh, my spiritual growth is, uh, is uh, uh, on account of a lot of the time he invested in me. So we love you, Donald. We miss you. I look forward to seeing you soon.